So a couple days ago, I did a really important update in the Oink extension where if you're uploading content uh, as an Amazon influencer, whenever you're tagging products for that content, in real time, the extension shows you now if those products are also available in Canada or the UK. Because if you have storefronts in those other countries, you don't have to go and like figure out, like, is this even available over there? The extension tells you in real time as you're uploading your video if that product's available in those other countries. Because if it is, then you can, from right there, go to those other platforms, quickly upload those videos, and basically build three storefronts all at the same time without ever really leaving the US storefront. And that takes care of, from this point forward, anything that you upload is gonna check for you automatically so you can continue to build those other storefronts in those other countries, big deal. But we also wanna go back now and handle everything we have already done in the Amazon Influencer Program from the US side. And so what I have done is I've created a system that will go through your storefront, show you which videos have products, that are available in other countries so that you can easily identify which products are available and easily upload those videos to those other platforms. Again, all manageable from the US storefront, basically maintaining three storefronts all at the same time. This is a big one. This is such an important update for me that I'm gonna cut down on uploading all new content probably for the next 30 days or as much as I can and focus on just going through my current storefront and building the UK and Canada because it is so streamlined now. Let me just jump in exactly how this works so uh, first off, this is a pro subscriber feature only. So if you're a paid subscriber of the extension, you have access to do this. One setup you're gonna wanna do is go to your account in the top right. Let's just make sure, go to preferences. I don't know why that was cut off on my screen. Uh, make sure if you have storefronts over here that they are enabled so we know which ones we need to be asking for. Once you do that, you're gonna refresh this page right here. Whenever you refresh this, what's gonna start to happen is it's gonna go through and it's going to start finding out, it's gonna say, hey, UK, hey, Canada. Are these products available? Are they actually priced? Can people actually purchase them? And if the answer is yes, it's gonna put a Canada button here or a UK button and or both, like in this case, it was available in both countries. And it's gonna start working through each video one at a time. Yes, I'll do pictures and idealists later, one step at a time for me on this, because this was such a big uh, up, uh, undertaking. So you can see this one's available here in both. Uh, this one is available just in the UK. And by the way, somebody's gonna make fun of me for some of this, grow up, you bunch of little babies. Uh, so, and you can see here, it's, it's doing this. So it, what you wanna do is you wanna just start working your way down. And every as you start scrolling, as the extension sees more and more content, it's gonna reach out and say, hey, are these available? Are these available? Now, once it makes it answers that question the first time, so we found out this was available, this wasn't available. The next time this page loads, it's not gonna have to re-ask every single time it's got that in storage so it'll just automatically start determining putting the buttons on some stuff right so you don't have to it won't be asking every single time so you can see here as we scroll down we've already done some of this let's see a lot of these are supplements so they're not going to be this one's available in canada only uh canada canada this one is available in both now you might say to yourself now okay i'm scrolling down why does this have this weird pink uh, border around it. Because the idea is you're gonna wanna start working your way from the top of the storefront down, just working all the way through it. But at some point you want a, way, a bookmark to keep track of where you stopped checking. That's what the yellow highlight does. So any time you get to a video card, if you click either one of these buttons, like you work it, like you're actually working on it, then what's gonna happen is first, let's do this. It's gonna open two tabs for you. One is gonna be the product, right? So you can see that it is actually a valid product, not just for verification, but also now this product is in the browse history because we're gonna to wanna to tag it here in a second. That's the easiest way to do it. So it's in your browse history, in this case for the UK. The other tab that opened was the actual video uploads. You're gonna upload your video, tag it in browse history, and then upload it and you're done. But because we did that, it put this pink border around it. Now, anything else that we click, just to kind of show you exactly the, how this works. So this one was UK only. Let's just go ahead and do this. It's gonna open up the tabs as expected. Da, da, da. Let me close these other tabs because there's, I'm doing a lot of testing here. You can see here, we now have this pink border on this particular um, video. Now, one of the things I wanna mention is I. I want you guys to do this from the all tab, from right here. Don't jump over to videos. Uh, the bookmarking doesn't work as well here. I want you to be looking at your whole storefront whenever you're doing all the scrolling and working your way down. So now you know exactly where you left off so you can pick up uh, for next time. Now, of course, some of these that you're gonna wanna uh, upload, you don't have the video for it anymore because it's older content. Well, no problem with the Oink extension for if you're a pro subscriber. This button right here is your download button. Press that, it's gonna download your original video and your thumbnail so you can easily turn around and whenever those other tabs open, like again, like this, just simply upload the video that you just downloaded from the screen 
and you're good to go there. So this handles the product cross-checking to see if it's even available. This handles the uh, ability to download your videos if you don't have them anymore, and the quick upload because it's giving you very quickly the uh, create tab and the product tab, which puts it in the recently browsed. This basically allows you to do all this streamlined from the storefront. Uh, I'm super stoked about this whole process. Something I wanted to mention is sometimes if you tag more than one thing here, that doesn't mean that everything is available. So like in this particular case, it says UK. It might be, I wouldn't be surprised if I actually open this up. Actually, if I click this, it's gonna open three tabs because one is the actual upload, one is the one product, and the other one is not available. So what it does is it opens up a tab for each one that you um, tagged here. So like in this case here, it would open up two also. In this case, it would open up two. But again, it doesn't always necessarily mean, especially the parent ID might be, if you're tagging some of that stuff, the parent ID more often will be the one that is not gonna be found, but that's okay. As long as one product is found, it's gonna give you that so you know you still want to download and upload this video to those other sites. It's just a matter of you would only end up tagging the one that is actually currently viable. Now, I wanted to answer a couple of questions about why I ended up doing it with this particular way where you have to basically start on your storefront and start working your way down. So. Unfortunately, the way that Amazon works between the different countries, there's not a situation where you can just like sync up your videos. Amazon.com has its own set of like servers, uh, UK, Canada. So you, you literally have to take a video file and upload it to each one of those. So you, you do have to have a moment where you have like a screen like this and a file on your computer that you send in to their servers to basically ingest and absorb. So that's the first thing. There's not a way to like click a button and go, okay, now it's everywhere. You do have to go through an upload process. And I've streamlined it as much as I can here through this process. The other thing is the videos aren't actually the same on each platform. So, you know, if I download this video right here and then I re-upload it over to UK or to Canada, even though visually looking at it, it looks like it's the exact same. As far as the platforms are concerned, they're different because every time you upload a video, that video gets a unique ID. So there's not really a way to go like, hey, does this video already exist on UK or does this do I already have this video on, uh, on Canada? There's not going to be a moment where we can say, I checked and this video exists automatically because it matches what we have on the other platforms. I am gonna come up with a way to cross-reference like the IDs, like so like, well, do we have videos based off of the ASINs here? And so there will be a cross-check that's coming available for that, but the reason that I set this up just to answer any questions before they come in is there isn't really a way to sync your content. You do have to still go through an upload process. I just try to make it all manageable uh, from the US storefront right here. This is still really quick, um, and this is gonna be a fast way to build up your storefronts in those other countries. So this was a big one. I am gonna be focusing personally on this for my own storefronts and build those other ones up with the content that I have already created. And uh, really excited for you guys. You know, anytime we launch something big like this, uh, you know, you guys are my eyes and ears. If something seems to be not right, a lot of times what will happen there, if it's working for some and working for, not working for others, usually that ends up being like a settings thing for the people who are, it isn't working for yet. But um, you know, let me know what you guys are seeing out there, working, not working. Uh, I appreciate the input that you guys uh, give, and I'm trying to continue to put out features and updates that you guys are asking for the most. So that's it. Really excited for you guys. Uh, as always, we'll see you on the next video. And if you're not, a, if you don't have the Oink extension already yet, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link to it down below. You can go download it for free. That's it. So we'll see you on the next video. As always, peace out.